this virus has shown you how quickly you can lose your life. I can't stay home because I have two kids. I have to pay my rent, I have to pay my bills. I won't get paid if I don't work. So I have to work, I have to put my health at risk every day out of necessity. You can't go anywhere and not think about it. I can't even go to the bathroom and not think about it. But, you know, it's my job and, and I have to do it. What's up, my man? What's going on? It's not summer yet, man. <laughs> How you doing? That's it, man. Yeah, yeah. That's all you. I am Billy Yofo. El Gordo. I was born in the Bronx. I was raised in Queens, and now I live in the city. I've been working at Zabar's for 17 years now, since I was 16 years old. We are one of the most famous stores in this country in terms of gourmet food. We're in all kinds of guidebooks. We get tour buses. We're in movies, television shows. Also, we're in New York City, which is the epicenter of this whole thing right now in the U.S. If you're out in the street, if you're taking the subway or just walking around, you've probably been exposed to it. New York State reeling from its deadliest day in the pandemic. Nearly 800 fatalities in just 24 hours. The statewide death toll now more than double the lives lost in 9-11. How are you? Yeah. All right, Billy, how are you? I'm good, man. Everything is all right? Everybody's well? Yeah, so far so good. You? Yeah. People can, you know, come here for the 15, 20 minutes, however long they're inside, and if they speak to me, you know, I try to make them laugh. I try to, you know, make them smile and try to just make their day a little bit easier. There's really not much else that I can do than what I'm doing now washing my hands, keeping my mask on, trying to stay away from a large group of people. But like I said before, it's not easy doing that when you work in a food store because everybody has to work together. Everybody has to work with each other, especially now. We've limited the amount of customers in the store to about 25 at a time. Shields in front of all the cashiers so they're separated from the customers squares on the floor six feet apart. Everybody's under a tremendous amount of pressure. Second. They are off today, so call 911. Just call 911, I'll be down in a few minutes. While most of our customers are very, very grateful to us, I get said thank you a hundred times a day. There are also people that treat grocery store workers like they're garbage. Last week I had a, one lady cough in another lady's face. Some regular customers that are generally not nasty have become nasty. So usually I have to be the one to say, get the fuck away from here. He comes over, he starts screaming and cursing, he wants to come in. Almost done, he's coming. Yeah, no, ab absolutely. I don't even know what day it is anymore. Hey, hey what's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? How's the family? Okay, everyone's fine. How about you? So, two of my friends have it. Yeah, hey, that's all right. It's a tough one. It's a murderer. The only reason why I'm scared about getting it is because of my kids and my wife. That's it. Like, if I were to catch it, I wouldn't have anywhere else to go but home. And I live in a one bedroom apartment. So there's really nowhere for me to, to be able to isolate myself from them. You know, my daughter kind of understands what's going on. My son, he doesn't know anything of what's happening in the world right now. And I, I would love to be him. Well, he's gonna ask me what it was like and she's gonna ask me what it was like. And I will just explain to them how Daddy did his part in trying to make the people around Daddy and, and the people in the area where Daddy worked happy, fed. Um, you know, I did my part in trying to keep this area going. Has anyone gotten sick here at Sabros? 
Uh, we have some people that are out. Every, we have a bunch of people that are out that are all related, whether it's doctor's quarantine or they don't want to be here or they may have symptoms, but since it's almost impossible to get tested, you don't really know. Everybody downstairs, we're not millionaires. Those people deserve the recognition and the adulation that, you know, that they should have coming to them. And sadly, they don't. You know, I'm, I, I like when people tell me, you know, thank you for working and this, that, and the third. And I appreciate all of that. We just have to try and make everyone around us as happy as we possibly can. <laughs> <laughs>